now back to our breaking news from Geneva. Lori Fine about to file a lawsuit for libel against ESPN and two of its employees. Our Jim Kenyon is in Geneva. He joins us live now with the latest. Jim? Well, good afternoon, Laura. Well, Lori Fine and her attorneys chose the Bellhurst Castle here as the backdrop to announce that they're filing this lawsuit against the ESPN Sports Network. Now, the suit is going to... Yeah, and reporter Mark Schwartz and employee Arthur Burko conducted an uncorroborated attack on Lori Fine. She's the wife of a fired assistant basketball coach Bernie Fine. The 44-page lawsuit to be filed in federal court accuses ESPN of trying to capitalize on the sexual abuse scandal that rocked Penn State by publishing uncorroborated false claims of sexual abuse against Bernie Fine at Syracuse University. Now, those uh, claims were made by former ball boy Bobby Davis. In their reporting, Lori Fine alleges that ESPN portrayed her as a despicable person, claiming that she knew of her husband's sexual abuse but did nothing, that she herself had sex with Bobby Davis when he was in high school, as well as other affairs with SU basketball players. Well, she spoke out about how ESPN allegedly ruined her life and reputation. I'm here today as a wife and a mother who has had to endure the trauma of being smeared in the public as a monster. My family and close friends have stood by me. They know that I am a kind and loving person, but my life has been destroyed through the defamation that I have suffered, and this will last a lifetime. Now at the center of this lawsuit is a secret recording that Davis made of a conversation that he had with Lori Fine in 2002, in which she appears to say that she knows about uh, Bernie Fine's sexual relationship with Davis. That tape got Fine fired from Syracuse University. The suit claims that ESPN doctored, manipulated, and uh, took portions of that tape out of context. Well, uh, the suit uh, does not specify any specific dollar amount, but says it'll leave it up to a jury to decide. And a short while ago, just minutes after this news conference, ESPN issued a statement through a spokesman saying that they have not yet reviewed the lawsuit, but they stand by their reporting. And you know, there's been a lot of speculation as to why they chose Bellhurst Castle as the backdrop here. Well, they explained that Bellhurst Castle was built in 1883 by a woman they say was a strong woman named uh, Carrie Harron. So they describe Lori Fine as a strong woman trying to rebuild her life. Reporting live from Geneva, I'm Jim Kenyon.